you, can, you might have no money or no jobs, but you could honestly, you could go to a pharmaceutical company and like you could sell your body. Like I know it's messed up. Sure. And it's like a, not good in the long run. But it's better, it's better doing it legally than illegally because if you do it illegally, you're taking that chance no matter what. Sure. There's always a chance. Like, I would rather have someone sell their body than rob someone. Sure. Because at least you're like, you know what you're doing to yourself. Right. It's not like anyone else is involved. Like, the other person agreed to pay you. Right. But I understand it's like a man. Like, whatever. He can't do it. But regardless, like, you could... Why would you rob someone? You could do so many other things. It's like... Even though it's illegal, like, that won't send you to jail. Like, of course, robbery is going to send you to jail. Right. Like, I'm for instance, like, you could burn DVDs or sell them or something. Like, sure, which actually could lead you to jail. I've seen that. I Bootlegging does, on this. It, it does, but it's not going to be as severe as robbery. I mean, okay. I mean, of course, to an extent, depending on, like, what company or whatever. Right. You can get caught. Sure. But it's like, at least you're doing it, like, out of, like, you're not harming anybody. Right, you're not hurting anybody physically. Like, you're taking it away. yourself. Got gotcha. you. Like, there's a difference between that, between, like, you can, there's, like, you can go to, like, the ends of the earth for your kids. Right. Like, are you going to drag someone down with you, or are you just going to drag yourself down? It's like, if you're going to do that, like, might as well just do something, like, that won't affect others. Are you looking forward to being a father one day? How do you feel about that role once I'm it comes? Pumped. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, kind of like, it's like that sense of, like, bloodline, you know? Like, sure. Like history. Right. Legacy. Like, and you really, that's, 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 like, a few times you've mentioned... You know, it's you know, like, bloodline and how important. I, I, it's, it's really valuable to you. I mean, it's not even that. Like, think about it. Like, think about like how crazy this is. It's like, it's like you slept with a woman, or somehow got her pregnant, mm -hmm. and life was given. Like, that's incredible. I mean, and it's half of that is just it's you. It's yes, really is you. Like, yes, it's you. Like, if half of that is you, shouldn't you treat it at least half as good as you would treat yourself? Yes. I don't mean to call it it, but like... I know what you're saying. I absolutely understand. I can completely fathom. It's like, I don't think you understand, like, you just think it's a kid, but it's actually you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like, and I know because you, you've seen I don't know if you've seen my son with me when I'm coming here before I don't think you were working the last time I came yeah. I think you were, you know, one of your co-workers was working I had my son with me how you doing but I have him with me because he you know and I say this is joking and, and, and you know he came obviously from me yeah. you know at one point he was in my testicles yeah. you know what I'm saying that's he was pretty, the strongest of them all that's what I'm oh, saying yeah. <laughs> you can joke about it a little I mean, bit you know what I mean but I think more parents need to take pride you know particularly fathers at their children you know yeah. recognize that you know you got a lot of characteristics that's going to be in that next generation you just raised you know and you also got to really recognize that when you're mating you know that potentially you can breed an offspring during that time of mating so you better make sure you're in a position to support that child mentally, emotionally, and physically. I, mean, I think a lot of the problem is we don't make the distinction in terms of fatherhood and, 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 and interaction with women to choose the right one. I think before you can get to the problem, you got to get to the root. And I mean, one it of the roots. Doesn't even matter if you hate your wife. Right. Or whatever, right. It's, it's the about the. It's still you. Like, right. The thing is, like, it's like blood. Like, it's like it's like I feel like having like a blood connection is past physical. Mm -hmm. It's more like on a spiritual level. Mm -hmm. It's like a bond that just can't be broken. Like, Say like, that again? It's like a bond that can't be broken. Like, right. you're forced. Sure. You're first. Like, wow. It's like, you have no choice. Wow. It's like, why don't you just step up mm -hmm. and raise your kid? Like, I know it can be hard on you, but it's like, it's just a kid. Like, it's you. Like, how are you going to, like, abandon them or do something stupid for that? Like, you want to... I know I what just, you're I just saying. Can't help saying like it's your kid, like it's you. So basically, more parents. Why need, would you not want success for your More child? more parents need to really honor the no, role no, of no, no, parentalhood. I need to summarize this. Why would you not want success for your child? Right. Why not? Right. Like, do you not understand the life that like they'll grow, they'll love, they'll right. they'll, they'll die. Like mm -hmm. that's life. Like, why would you not want them to succeed? Mm -hmm. And what can you be so evil-hearted of you? And what have they done to you that you don't want them to succeed? Right. And I think, and I think, when you think about that question, you say, some parents say, "All right, well, you graduated high school. I never did that. Nobody in my family has, so they feel like." I mean, they're that's intimidated graduated. by their kids. Yeah, let me say, they, they they've done that, and they feel like that's an accomplishment, which may very well be. But in a society, you got want more than your child to just graduate high school. I think more parents should set 
goals, short term as well as long term I mean, for the like, kids. And it varies in different cultures. You got to recognize it. The thing is, you know? why do you not want your kids to do better than you did? Right. So that's what how all goes that, back how to. How does that make any sense? Like, why do you want to feel better than your kid? Right. And no matter what, if you love them, he'll love you back. Sure. It's like, he can be the richest guy in the world, but he will still respect you the most if you did like, if you still love him. If right. he still loves you, like, why don't you want him to succeed? Right. Like, you always see, like, famous people, like, anyone, they always, unless, like, their fathers ran away on them or something, like, mm-hmm. if they usually have, like, a good family, mm-hmm. they always talk about the family. They're always, like, giving props. They're always, right. like, I would have never done this. The family's always there for them, too. It's like, it's like, isn't that the whole point of, like, life? So the previous generation or the next generation is better than the previous? The next generation is better than the previous. I mean, that's like the point of immigration also. That's, like, the why you move to another country. Right. So your children will do better than you. And I say that, it's funny you mentioned that. I graduated high school with a .75 GPA, right? There were a lot of different things that I had challenges with as a kid. You know, I didn't have the ability to articulate what I was going through at, at an adolescent, at a young child, you know? So now I learn and I'm watching my son grow and I wouldn't be able to depict the differences in myself and my son if I wasn't there consistently, that's number one. But number two is I recognize some of the things that he does that I used to do and I didn't know how to respond to doing them negatively. Well, I mean, maybe education's a problem also then. Because mm-hmm. like you just said that, like I graduated with like a 4.0. Right. Um, right. I never had a kid, right. yet I can still talk about this. Right. It's just like, I'm more knowledgeable. Right. I was taught better. Right. I don't know, maybe I, don't know, maybe I paid attention more or right. I took it upon myself to learn more. Right. But like, now, did you have both parents growing up in your household? Was oh, that yeah, something? Yeah, but I mean like, I pretty much was raised by my grandmother. Okay. They were never home. All right. They were just working all the time. Like, like, How often did you see them? From I mean, know. I saw them every night, but like, so you saw them I slept every night. with my grandmother when I was a kid. Like, okay. She raised me. She did everything. Like, and I and I learned that a lot. A lot of times, they, you know, um, well, particularly like Asians won't won't well, have like a thing with Koreans, like, right. It's culture, right? And you I mean, won't have you'll, you'll have grandma come in and she'll still be that one who's carrying on a tradition and teaching the yeah, kids the as, as opposed to daycare. Her kids though were probably raised by her mother. Though. Exactly. The thing is. Uh, I don't really get how that works, but especially like in here, they have no choice. Because like you come here, you gotta support your family somehow. Mm-hmm. And like, you, like if your mother can help, why not? Right. Like, right. I agree. Like, it's not I mean like I know it's a big thing. Like it's a lot of work for her. All right. But like if she's willing to. All right. All right, well, I just want to, you know, thank Joe today, Embracing Fatherhood and Founder Fathers, as well as Mentor. He may be a potential mentor. You never know. We'll see him in the future. You know, one day he'll have a kid and we'll have a conversation. We'll reunite and talk about, you know, our self-respect as well as our diversified respect for every individual father in the community. So thanks a lot, Joe. I appreciate yeah. it. Take it's also easy. like this. Go ahead. Like, just think about it. Like your kid mm-hmm. is eventually going to be a man or a woman. They'll right. eventually be able to be just as smart as you and think it's just as much as you. Right. Like, what will they think of you? Right. That's pretty much it. Like, my legacy is carrying on right now. Even as my son is in school, I'm going to pick him up after we finish here. Yeah. So just in terms of you just making that yeah, comment, like, that's just awesome. It's like, do you really want your like, own blood to think you're trash? Do you really want them to hate you for the rest of your life? Right. Like, why would right. you want that's what I'm doing. I'm th- no, you go to the website, you check it out. Embrace some fatherhood. Just embrace it. Make it cool to be a father. I don't care what form of fatherhood you talk about. It's just sometimes at first fathers, stepfathers, yeah. it's got to be cool to be a father. And you see me on the front cover of my webpage, and you see me with my sunglasses with my father because I was showing something. I'm showing his generation, Hollywood, my generation, everything's cool now. So make it cool to be a father as Actually, well. Actually, I think. Go ahead. I think fatherhood used to be better. Yeah. I, think it, I think it actually... It's it, gotten worse, right? Yeah. I mean, oh. Probably because of the technology, really. But, like, think about how about close families used to be. Right. Like, your father's father. Right. Like, think about how close they were. Like, right. Think I about... Think talks about it. Exactly. I, I mean, I still have stories of my grandfather. Think about those kids who never knew their grandfather, though, who never yeah. knew their father. What kind of stories do they have? Now they're making up their own stories, you know? we got to break the cycle, revolutionize it, have them wake up, get rid of disease. Founding fathers were not limited to to any nationality. You see, I'm talking to anybody. Um, it doesn't matter where you are in your life. You're a father. There's another father that you can learn from. You're a mother. There's another mother you can learn from. In any nationality. I'm here talking to this 19-year-old friend. I'm 25. The interaction that we had is genuine. The chemistry is genuine. That's because we have a lot of self-respect for each other. You know? 
Yeah. Just um, wake up, get rid of disease. Thanks.